Well, there, everybody, Data Pioneer here with the Linux Unix Tech Channel. And uh, it's been a while since I've uh, published a video, so I thought I would come up today and do that and get that out of the way. But uh, I'll tell you what, I'm bringing you something today that you need to pay attention to because I think you'll like it. Um, I started looking at this operating system uh, a couple of days ago, and uh, so I thought I would check it out on my own. And so what it is, is a professional operating system for Linux users called Modicia OS. And it's based on Xubuntu Linux. Uh, it comes out of the Isle of Man, which if you're not familiar with it, where that is, it's an island uh, off the, it's one of the British Isles, uh, some, somewhere in the Irish Sea, about midway between Ireland and uh, the UK. And um, it, it's just uh, an unbelievable operating system. I mean, it has everything that you would, could imagine. Uh, everything configured for you. Uh, very little that you have to do in, config in the way of configuration. So I'm really happy with what I see so far. Let me uh, take you down here to um, the Ultimate, which is what I'm running right now. Um, not right what you see here, but I'll show you in a moment. I'm running the ultimate version and it's professional audio video graphics. It says it's got turbo boost for processors are on by default. Uh, swappiness is reduced to 10% and programs are 25% faster and thus increase the life of the SSD disk, which is a good thing because I'm running SSD one terabyte. Data and RAM memory is compressed with read write speed above 20%. It's got wine, jack, audio connection kit and rsync is already configured and active if you press the uh, plus symbol in the space bar the startup application menu will appear all programs have the various languages and available dictionaries already installed comes with a manual too by the way uh, from the context menu wherever you are you can activate windows exposure um, and then we can quickly start viewing the desktop or activities with just a click of the mouse okay so let's come on down you got office 360 for students and uh, I think ultimate is pretty much well actually enterprise version of this is designed for the mid-ranged office and the corporate entities obviously uh, there's an education version as well there's the enterprise professional publishing writers and office there's the manual that I was referring to now here's the download uh, ISO for um, Modicia OS. You can get the professional version, but you have to make payment. Okay, and then there's a community Office 360, which is free. And this uh, Enterprise OS and Education OS comes in with a payment per view. Um, so you don't have to buy it. And you can come over here to the Ultimate free, and you can click on that, and it takes you out to the download where you can download. Now, it does not require you to pay anything. It may prompt you for, um, you know, to uh, donate, but you don't have to donate anything to download uh, the ultimate version. Very easy to download for me, and uh, so let's get out there and I'll show you uh, what it looks like. So I'm running Virtual Manager, Vertman, and I've got Modicia OS installed. It, Vertman uses QEMU and KVM. Uh, this is a Type 2 hypervisor and KVM's a Type 1 built into the kernel. I like uh, Vertman over Virtual Machine or VirtualBox uh, quite a bit. All right, so let's go Virtual Machine. Let's get it started. And uh, let's view full screen. All right, and... So here it is, and uh, it's coming up. So take take a look at Modicia OS. I'm telling you, you you'll, you won't regret it. Put in my password. I've already got it installed. I'm not going to run walk you through a Calamaris installer. Everybody knows how to install an operating system these days. Uh, it's I'm in a uh, virtual machine, so it's telling me that. I've, need to check my video drivers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and um, let's see, hold on a second.
Oh, there we go. All right, so I'm going to go to System Settings, and uh, then I'm going to bring up Display. All right, and uh, so let's get to 1920 by 1080. So I got full screen. Apply that. All right, close that, and close this. Okay, so here we are. This is uh, Modicia OS in uh, Vertman. And let's see what we have here. Across the top, we got a panel. Uh, we've got uh, different uh, workspaces that we can go to here. So we can go to Workspace 2, Workspace 3, and you can even add a workspace if you want. I've got, work, I've got four workspaces. Let's go back to Workspace 1. Um, if you click on that, that opens up uh, the interface here to uh, your uh, start menu showing you all the things that you have all applications accessories graphics internet and Medusha tool etc etc so let's you've got your power here so you can quit you can log out here you've got your file manager and here you've got system settings so under all applications uh, for well let's go down to accessories you've got things like adapt archive manager calculator disks you've got files and I believe this is Nemo file manager so let's click on that about yeah it's Nemo 5.2.4 uh, I like Nemo uh, I use PC Man FM when I can and then I've used Thunar as well but it, Nemo is pretty good as well all right so let's go back and um, under accessories now you've got fonts font viewer search uh, help kill all <laughs> Mouse pad, notes, screenshot. So you can take a screenshot of your system. You've also got Stacer. I'll show you Stacer in a moment. Uh, USB image writer. So you can click on that and you can, uh, if you've got an ISO file and you've got a USB stick, you can select it. Come down here and write and verify uh, your image and you can create a, a bootable operating system on your USB stick very easily using this built in tool comes with this built in out of the box all right so uh, let's go back to accessories and where were we we were at image writer USB stick formatter very good virtual keyboard and XF burn for graphics you've got uh, things like a document scanner document viewer a font forge uh, GIMP Inkscape uh, photo collage the uh, Stretto image viewer, etc., etc. For internet, you've got AnyDesk, Blue Griffin, uh, which is a database manager, FileZilla, which is a um, file manager. I mean, not a file manager, but a, a FTP manager, FTP utility. Uh, Firefox, web browser, and Telegram. Now, it doesn't come with Brave or it doesn't come with uh, Chrome or anything like that. It does come with Firefox. Um, not sure which version it comes. Let's let's go ahead and open it. And and so here we've got um, with Firefox. You can do an about help about Firefox, and it looks like it's 114.064 bit. So that's um, for Ubuntu. I'm not sure sure how current that is. I don't use Ubuntu that often. I will be now because I'm going to be using Modisha OS. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, close Firefox. <coughs> okay, and let's come down to Modisha Tools. So you've got a bunch of tools here that you can use. Um, update all Wine install. So you can up, update or install Wine and. Uh, use Windows applications if you want to in this operating system. <coughs> Excuse me. For Office, you've got Calendar, Document Viewer, Evolution Mail, uh, Master PDF Editor 4. I use PDF Editor 4 and 5. Great little utility, by the way, for working with PDFs, PDF files. Only Office uh, Desktop Editor. Haven't used Only Office in a while, but uh, you can use that in, in this operating system. Out of the box. Administration, you've got uh, Bleachbit, uh, Disk Usage Analyzer, GW Package 
installer, GR Sync, HTOP, land share for sharing across your land, sharing files, kind of like uh, what Webinator does. Login window, power statistics, uh, printers, software, software updater, uh, startup disk creator, synaptic package manager. I like synaptic package manager because it lets you get down to a granular level on how to work with your repositories and work with your various files and install uh, packages into your operating system. You've got system monitor, you've got terminal. Um, one of my favorites, time shift for backing up your system. Uh, if you haven't used Time Shift, check it out. Uh, you'll never go back. It's a great uh, backup tool. Users and groups. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we've got for preferences, accessibility options, account details. Uh, look, we've got backgrounds, your Bluetooth manager, date and time. Uh, you've got uh, desktop, disks, display, effects, extensions. Um, keyboard, hot corners, language support, mouse and touchpad interface, you've got network interface here, panel, power management, preferred applications, you've got everything you could ever, you know, hope to have in this operating system. It's a very professional operating system for professional Linux users. you got startup applications, you've got system info, <coughs> system settings, uh, themes, you name it, workspaces, audio, you've got uh, Audacity, so I'm glad, very glad to see that, Audacity, and uh, sound recorder, XF Burn, uh, for video, you've got things like Cheese, Curl, Curl U, or Curlu, um, you'll see you've got DCP player, uh, Handbrake, I've used Handbrake before, I, I like it. Caden Live, use it all the time for creating videos and editing videos. Uh, VLC Media Player, use that quite a bit for playing uh, media. And, uh, and so that's what we have there. So let's get out of that. Let's come down here. Um, we've got uh, Show Desktop. We've got Files, which is, of course, Nemo. All right, I showed you that already. We've got System Settings, and if I click on that, here are all your system settings. You know, for appearance, you've got preferences, and a lot of these are covered in the other things I've shown you. Um, and administration, okay? Okay, so let's, uh, let's get out of that. Let's go to Stacer. Now, Stacer is great because what Stacer does is it lets you monitor your system, gives you your system information over here. You've got a bunch of things here in this sidebar, you know, things like uh, uninstaller, your, your processes, your services, your search, your system cleaner, you know, that kind of stuff. Startup apps, your dashboard that we're currently on. Settings, GNOME settings. Here you've got CPU usage, so it keeps track of your CPU usage. I've got four cores here and 16 gigs of RAM. <clears throat> and then this virtual machine, virtual machine memory, uses my uh, memory from my desktop uh, and CPU. Uh, memory here, 1.2 gigabytes out of 3.8, not bad. You can expect to use something around that for a virtual machine. Uh, this is Vertman. Vertman is a little bit lighter than virtual machine or virtual box. Uh, for the disk, I'm using 14.5 gigabytes of 28.2, actually 32 gigabytes, but that's okay. It's, it's only seeing 28.2. I'm sure the virtual machine or Vert Manager is using some of that. Downloads, upload speeds, that kind of thing here in um, in uh, Stacer. Okay. All right. So here we've got the USB stick formatter. We've got LAN share. So if I click on that, you can see here uh, that you've got uh, you can send files and receive files using this application. So it's a local area network share utility. All right. So I've got Evolution Mail. I don't use that anymore. I use uh, uh, hey mail, which is web-based, and I uh, don't plan to go back. Firefox web browser, uh, you can install another web browser if you don't like Firefox. You've got only Office Desktop Editor, you've got Master PDF Editor 4, you've got uh, X in View multi-platform, never used that, don't know what that is. Um, if you do, let me know. 
VLC media player, uh, Audacious, which is a music player, and then you've got your trash. Come up here, you've got a Conky that's showing you your CPU usage, your RAM, and your system usage here. Uh, a couple of things I didn't touch on here, you've got uh, snapshot, so you can take a snapshot here. Um, current window, selected area, whole screen, you know, regular snapshot stuff. Here you can do an F search for file search, kill all to kill all processes. Come across, you've got your uh, total download upload speed. That's the land share stuff again. I'm connected to wired network as you can see. This thing found my uh, current location, Asheville, North Carolina, and it get, set up a weather application in the panel for me, which is kind of nice. If I click on it, it should give me more weather, and it does. Clear skies currently in Asheville. Light rain uh, tomorrow, it says, and uh, clear skies Thursday. That's nice. And so here, uh, for time and date, so I've got no events scheduled here. This is the 6th of June, 2023, and I can do my date and time settings uh, configurations right from this calendar. Okay, so if I right click, I can create a new folder on the desktop, create a new document. I can add desklets. I can change the desktop background. So if I right click and click on that, I can go over here and you've got a bunch of backgrounds you can choose from. and. Um, let me see if I see one I like that I might want to switch to. I kind of like the one I have, but temporarily anyway, I think I will switch to, oh, why not? I think I'll switch to this one right here. All right, and so there we go. All right, so this is the one I've got open right now. And so if I right click, I can create a new launcher here, which is wonderful because uh, creating launchers sometimes can be painful. Um, this one's a KB, MB, GB. Let's see what that's about. Um, oh, okay. So it's telling me what my um, disk usage is All right, for the desktop and, and the disk itself. All right. So let's, uh, let's take a look at Expo. No windows open. Okay. And so let's uh, open in Terminal. Open as root. Customize. So let's open in Terminal. I've got this pre-configured already with Data Pioneer as the uh, profile. And so if I do an IPA, you can see that my uh, IP address is 192.168.122.22 slash 24, so it's a Class C network. And uh, let's clear the screen. If I do a, uh, oh, let's see. Uh, what do I want to do here? If I do a ls.lh, I don't have anything there. Let's do a PWD to see where I'm at. Home Data Pioneer Desktop. So it, desktop, it goes to the desktop by default instead of just your home uh, folder, which would be for me, Home uh, Data Pioneer. Um, if I do a df-kh, I can see that I'm using uh, right now 55% of the uh, allocated uh, virtual drive uh, where it's where uh, Modisha OS is installed okay and so I've already updated the uh, files so I don't need to do that but it uses sudo and uh, by default when you set up your user sudo privileges are assigned to that user so you don't have to worry about uh, even in the installer there's no box to click that make your user root user for sudo purposes it's already done by default okay so this is a quick look at modisha os uh, based on xubuntu coming out of the isle of man um, highly recommend you take a look at this i'm going to put this thing on bare metal i'm going to i've got an acer aspire laptop uh, fairly new and i'm going to install it on there and replace tuxedo os that i'm currently using which I like, but after looking at Modisha OS, I like this even better. And so this has been Data Pioneer with the Linux Unix Tech Channel. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you uh, liked what you saw, go ahead and click that uh, thumbs up to give me uh, support for my channel. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. 
and subscribe to my channel. So this is Data Pioneer with the Linux Unix Tech Channel. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.